you've heard all the ads. Eat more protein, they say. Ad after ad promotes some high-protein product, whether it's a dairy product or a shake or a protein bar or some low-carb product. So protein is supposed to be good for you, right? I mean, isn't that what they tell you? Unfortunately, research shows that eating lots of protein may shorten your life and increase your risk of cancer even as much as smoking does. And what about carbs? Carbs are supposed to cause diabetes, obesity, and all kinds of health problems, they say, right? Did they bother to tell you that the longest-lived populations eat a lot of carbs? The Japanese, for example, well-known for their longevity, had a diet that was well over 70% carbs and a protein intake less than 10%. And by the way, their rates of obesity and diabetes are much lower than we have in high-protein consuming countries like the United States. So let's get some facts straight. Research shows that a high-protein diet is associated with a 75% increased risk of all-cause mortality and a fourfold increase in risk of cancer, according to an NIH-funded study on protein health and longevity published in Cell Metabolism. This applied to people studied between the ages of 50 to 65. After age 65, high-protein diets were associated with lower mortality, but this may simply be because people who were already sick would eat less, and many of those susceptible to high-protein diets may have already died off. But in older ages, it may be prudent to make sure protein is adequate, but not excessive. As for controlling blood sugar, in this study, high protein intake was associated with a five-fold increase in diabetes at all ages. So much for high protein diets preventing diabetes. So if you want to stay healthy and stay up to date with the latest health tips, join us by subscribing to our channel. We wish you the best of health and blessings always.